I, I believe we're all missionaries. Some missionaries get on planes, travel around the world. Some pick up and move their families. Some get in cars in the morning, drive into a business, and they are just as much missionaries as those who go around the world. You're just in a different setting. God puts us where he wants us to be. And we have to recognize that and be comfortable acting on that. Becoming a Christian in my 20s, I wondered whether or not, uh, because I had a real zeal for getting to know the Lord and serving Him, whether I should maybe go to seminary or something like that. And I'd gotten my degree in computer science and I remember just doing some praying about what I should do. And I remember just realizing that even though I am not a pastor or a missionary, that I'm just as much uh, a part of the kingdom as anybody else because I might be the only Christian that somebody at work might get to know. You probably put uh, higher expectations on yourself than others do because everything that you do, you're doing for the glory of God. And so you want to do it well. You want to do it right. You want to do it on time. You want to do it uh, with quality. Everything I do and everything I try to encourage in other people is to God's glory. It's not to Bry's glory. It's to God's glory. And so the way I work today and the way I try to work through other people today is not about me. It's to God's glory in the workplace. I feel like the Lord was saying, you are a full-time Christian worker. You're just not being, you know, you're being uh, funded by whoever you're working for. And just to be aware and do an excellent job, not to, not to compromise what I'm doing for who I'm working for, but to do, to do a good job as, a, as in working for the Lord. A pastor off the street, if he wanted to come into a business and it was a secure business, he couldn't get past the guard desk. But there are those of us that God places in the workplace and we have to ask ourselves, why are we here? It's more than just doing a job and collecting a paycheck. Your ability to share your faith in a corporate setting is not prohibited. What it is is restricted, and it's restricted to your lunch hour, or it's restricted to your breaks, and it cannot be done on company time. There's nothing in the restrictions that, that say we can't talk about church, or we can't talk about our own experience. And, and not in an overbearing way and not in the wrong environments, but in any inner, kind of small personal interactions as people are maybe talking about your weekend or what, what you did. Well, you can bring up yourself that oh, we went to church yesterday or we did this and we had, we had this event. So if, if you're in the workplace and you really want to share your faith with others and you're unsure about how to do that, I think little clues like maybe having the Bible on the corner of your desk or some type of devotional book, um, you know, uh, talk about what you're doing on the weekends, you know, share a little bit more of your life, saying things like um, talking about, uh, you know, you're in my prayers. I've had prayer time in the car, you know, I've walked around the building, um, I've, you know, shut the door in a conference room and just prayed for five minutes and, and I think sometimes people, when they see it's that easy, um, they're more apt to say, wow, you know, that really did make a difference in my day and, and um, it doesn't take a lot of time. It's, it's something that can be very quick and, you know, when, when God works, He doesn't need a long time. It's in an instant. Making a point of saying Merry Christmas instead of Happy Holidays. When you tell me Merry Christmas now instead of Happy Holidays, to me that means you are a Christian. You're celebrating Christmas because it's the birth of Christ. Um, I think all those little things um, give people clues as to um, your faith. I'm not really good at evangelizing, but I think I try to do good, um, uh, set good examples in the, the way that it, I handle people and when they have the opportunity to pray for somebody, I tell them that I'm going to pray for them. And uh, sometimes if I, if I think the moment is right, then I'll ask them, do you mind if I pray for you now? Prayer has got to be the most powerful thing we can do for somebody, is to um, intercede and be um, just actively praying about a situation or a person and it, it's very important and it's something that you can do silently at your desk um, in the hallway in a meeting 
anywhere that you are at in a work environment and no one knows the difference but you know you do and you can see things changing as you as you grow in your faith as you are more in tune to the Holy Spirit you can really pick up on the signs better the more you do it the better you get